This was the scene in rural Worth County last Monday as the ASPCA and other groups took 170 Samoya dogs from the Whitefire Kennel. The owner is accused of leaving them in dirty, overcrowded kennels with little protection from the elements. When the dogs were removed from the property, uh, all 170 dogs, all of them underwent uh, really intense veterinarian medical examination, behavioral examination. Tuesday, 50 were cleared to head to shelters across the Midwest, one step closer to their forever homes. 16 of those dogs, including seven puppies, are currently at the Humane Society of North Iowa, which has been working to find new homes for dogs rescued from white fire long before last week's raid. The Humane Society of North Iowa had been a part of this case and had actually been working with that breeder for the last several months. Um, tried to help her reduce her number of breeding stock. Things had gotten a bit out of control and she had at one time over 200 dogs on the property. The Humane Society is now working to put the dogs up for adoption, something that could happen in a matter of days. We've literally received hundreds of email inquiries, of applications, of phone calls. Um, so it's been really overwhelming, the number of people that are reaching out to us that want to help these dogs. As for the remaining 120 pooches... Those animals will be um, going to our temporary shelter for some further medical and behavior evaluation, and we hope to make them available soon. And while the Humane Society does not condone the breeder's actions, Sukup says she doesn't think the kennel's owner meant for things to get so out of control. She truly did love these dogs, and I, I feel bad for the way that things happened for her. But I'm glad that these animals are now safe and secure. Logan Reichstead, ABC 6 News.